Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. We are uh, in the room where we fought the Minotaurs Rock and Garok. And we've got two safes here that we can take a look at. Did not find a trap on this one. So this one is, was apparently trapped but not locked, and this one is just locked. You're right behind me, right? So let's go check this one out first. All right, 1,000 gold, 38 gold, 23 gold, gem, potion, and a clay golem page. <clears throat> uh, crystal mallet, and some missile weapons. All right, so first of all, gem over to you. I guess I used up all of the uh, oil. Go ahead and take this uh, potion. Alright, so 20 bullets plus 3. That container is full. Arrows plus 3. Bolts plus 3. And Clay Golem Page. This appears to be torn from a larger work. Although incomplete, it seems to describe how to summon a golem made of clay. <clears throat> that would be nice if we get a, a follow-up to the uh, Flesh Golem one. A finely crafted hammer appear... This Oh, this finely crafted hammer appears too delicate to be of any real use as a tool. Unless, of course, it has some magical application. <gasps> Ooh, a magical application, everyone! I'm... Kind of obvious, isn't it? Alright, we'll... We're done here, I guess. Well, we have the crystal mallet that can uh, release Karsten. <clears throat> I am definitely going to rest before we do that, in case we have to fight him. I hate how loud some of those sound effects are when they run out. Uh, is there anything else in here that I could take out? I only have 80 arrows plus 2. You know what? Let's go ahead and use some of these. Container is full, and I can just sit there for the moment. <clears throat> there we go. You have various arrows there as well. Haven't really used uh, archery with uh, them at all lately. Do I have other bullets plus one? I do. I have a lot. Hmm. I wonder why some of these arrows plus three have split up like that. Hmm, I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, we should be ready to go. It will be done. Preston gives you a worried look as you approach the protective glass surrounding him. How many times will you strike the glass with the mallet? Uh, I do not strike the glass. Karsten breathes a sigh of relief as you walk away. Um... Okay, I need to find the thing. Uh, 
Uh, do do do. Be able to use it six times to shatter the. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, now I got to find out what happens. Ten. You strike the glass, carefully counting each blow. Nothing happens. Karsten cackles gleefully at your failure and gives you a malevolent grin as he pulls one of the levers on the machine of Lum the Mad. Now, no. Come on, kill something now. Yeah. Is it always going to be a fireball? Okay, so yeah, it's just like always a fireball. Six. You strike the glass six times, then wait expectantly. The magic cage begins to vibrate, giving off a high-pitched hum. A second later, it dissolves into nothing more than dust. No! Spare me, please! I beg you, don't hurt me! I never meant any harm. It was all the machine's fault, I tell you! I'm just a poor old man! Not so magnificent now, are you? Get out of my sight, you sniveling worm! The more you whimper and whine, the more I'm going to enjoy gutting you. I won't kill you, Karsten, even though you deserve to die for what you've done. But I'm a better person than you'll ever be. Well, tell me how to use a machine of Lum the Mad, and I will let you live. Thank you, kind ma'am. You are truly noble for sparing my wretched life. Take my journal. It may help you discover the secrets of this infernal machine. All right, you know what? I actually kind of want to see what we get for killing him. Boring. 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 Now, if we don't get anything good, then, yeah, I'll let him live. No! Spare me, please! I beg you, don't hurt me! I never meant any harm! It was all the machine's fault, I tell you! I'm just a poor old man who got stuck inside a glass case! Well... Uh, well, I'm not going down without a fight! spells. It's so obvious, too. Okay. True scene. And he does time stop. Alright, what is he gonna do? Stun. Fear. And he has more things up? What? Crying out loud. Alright, what else do I have? not hit him I hit to no effect I hit to no effect no. it cannot hit. end like this no effect. I shall not allow it
Okay, all we get out of it is Karsten's journal, 6,000 XP. Definitely not worth it. All right. Definitely not worth it. No! Spare me, please! I beg you, don't hurt me! I never meant any harm. It was all the machine's fault, I tell you. I'm just a poor old man who got stuck inside a glass case. A series of meandering writings and semi-intelligent comments written by Karsten while he was trapped in the machine. In one section, he describes the controls. I would so like to escape. It gets ever so stuffy, and I miss Mumsy ever so much. There is a deactivated portal, and I know that the machine will open it, but I'm frightened to try. If my research is correct, pushing the triangular button, uh, turning the red wheel, and pulling the medium lever will activate the portal. But it will not free me from this wretched glass case. So you wanted to be freed anyway. Alright, so triangular button, uh, red wheel, and medium lever. Yeah, alright, that would do it. So all of those notes, all those other notes that we found also uh, indicate uh, things that we can do. We're just gonna wander off down that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if what we can it? use a machine of Lum the Mad. The machine of Lum the Mad appears securely fastened to the floor. The bizarre contraption has a number of levers, dials, switches, and buttons protruding from all sides. The machine hums with power, almost daring you to use it. You feel it would be wise to restrict your experiments to the controls on the main operating panel, and even then, randomly flipping switches will likely result in disaster. Alright, so we have uh, push the circular button, push the square button, push the triangular button. Hey, it's like a PlayStation controller. Turn the red dial, the blue dial, the green dial, pull the short lever, the medium lever, and the long lever. Or we can leave the machine alone for now. Alright, first of all, we want to... Uh, blue dial. Hesitantly, reach out and try a control. The machine clicks and whirs and trembles with building power. Despite the surging energy of the strange machine, nothing happens. Yet. Perhaps you need to push another control to get a reaction. Next up, the green dial. Hesitantly, you reach out and try a control. The machine clicks and whirs and trembles with building power. Despite the surging energy of the strange machine, nothing happens yet. And uh, let's pull the long lever. The machine screeches and bel belches forth a cloud of steam, you and you brace yourself for the effect which is to come. A swirling globe of glowing light materializes around you, then vanishes. You feel an aura of magical protection that seems to seep down into your very bones. Elmadretta has gained permanent magic resistance! What did we get? Where is it? Ten. So, I got uh, five... I have five for something that I'm wearing. Uh, my robe? Yeah. And then I got five from that, so that takes me up to ten. Pretty nice. Okay, so that's one success. I have a list of things. Um, I don't know if all of the notes would indicate these, but uh, these are the... You can get some at least some of these through the notes that we found... Uh, let's see. Let's push the triangular button. <clears throat> the green dial. And the medium lever. The machine screeches and belches forth a cloud of steam, and you brace yourself for the effect which is to come. An item appears in your pack. Gained mace. Storm Star plus three. This magical weapon is of ancient design, all uh, thought to have been devised in the Theral. It crackles with spectacular arcs of lightning when wielded. Uh, so, 1d6 plus four, plus 1d6 electrical damage. Not usable by druids, mages, monks, shamans, thieves, fighter druids, and beastmasters. So, 
So, it's about the same as the Flail of Ages, other than the fact that this has a 33% chance of slowing the target for 20 seconds, which is also nice. Um, I mean, 1d6 damage is potentially better than um, plus 3 of various sorts that enemies might be immune to. I don't think there's going to be much that electrical is necessary against, but I'll leave it with Viconia. It would be useful for her to make use of. Okay, next up. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up the uh, portal to the next level. So that was the uh, triangular button. The red dial. Correct, yep. And the medium lever. You hear the crackle of energy and the pop of power from the formerly inactive magical gate in the northeast corner of the room. The way down to the next level is now open. 25,000 experience points, and Jahara and Elmandretta can now level up. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do so. Uh, death saving throw reduced by two, polymorph saving throw reduced by two, and breath weapon saving throw reduced by three. That could reduce by one, additional hit points gained one. Okay. So yeah, that was a fighter level. Or was it both? No, couldn't have been both. Although we are going to go up both next time. All right, one other thing to think about is we're going to be getting some stat gains. Definitely want to give the constitution to me cuz that should result in more hit points. Um might as well give myself the uh, charisma. I'm not sure that I need the dexterity. I will give myself the strength. Okay, you're ready to level up. That is just fighter. Wand saving throw reduced by two, a polymorph reduced by two, a breath weapon reduced by three, a spells reduced by two, a thaco increased by one, and hit points by one. All right. So Jahara's wisdom is only 14. It's not ideal. Increasing Ares' intelligence and wisdom would probably be a benefit. Definitely not going to give anything to Yoshimo. Nineteen dexterity is not actually going to get me much. I don't think twenty intelligence is going to get me much either. Not entirely sure what they implement in this game for some of these stats. Uh, let's take a quick look at the wiki. All right, so um, I mean, I should probably also pull up my actual player's handbook so I can double check to see what the effects would be. I mean, a twelve wisdom for Elmandretta shouldn't make any real difference overall long term. So. Not sure that I care. Uh, 20 intelligence should make me immune to first and second level illusions. But I don't know if that is actually implemented.
and higher intelligence for Eri would allow her to learn more spells. I don't see anything about... Yeah, I don't see anything about uh, gaining immunity to illusions in the wiki. Hmm. Which is very unfortunate. Or he would get an extra third level spell if I increase her wisdom. Wisdom does not seem to alter um, Wisdom doesn't seem to give any immunity to spells in this game either. Hmm. Not seeing anything about a saving throw adjustment either. That's weird. Why would you not put these things in? But yeah, 12 wisdom is not going to get Elmandretta anything, so I don't think that I care about that. Constitution will be good, though. Let's go for that and the strength to start with. Right, helps if I'm uh, unpaused. Okay, so strength is the short lever. And the medium lever. And then the square button. Almadretta well, gained one point of strength. I'll take it. 20 strength. Very nice. Now, standard gift strength. Well, no, actually... I think give her 19 by standard. But they, you can roll up a, a 20. Sounds fun. Um, so, 19 dexterity is, I don't think, going to get me all that much. Maybe I should give that to someone else. On the other hand, is there anyone else that it matters that much for? Um... Let's see. Actually, it, there's an initiative modifier at 19. So that might be worthwhile. I mean, Elmandre to go faster. Yeah, I think that I like that. So let's quick save again. Uh, dexterity is square button. And then the red dial. And then the short lever. Flames shoot out of the machine and engulf you. Alright, I did something wrong. <clears throat> I think I uh, looked at two different lines. Um, well, I actually want to do constitution anyway, so circular button. I think I mixed up the two lines. Uh, red dial. And a long lever. A feeling of health and vitality washes over you. Elmandretta gained a one point of constitution. 114 hit points. Now equal to uh, Minsk. Okay, next up, square button. And 
and a blue dial. And a short lever. One point of dexterity. Limbs feel quick and agile, and there is a new spring in your step. Alright, 20 strength, 19 dexterity, 18 constitution. Let's see. So, you've got uh, 18 wisdom. I don't think that giving Jahara 15 wisdom is going to do that much. I mean, she's just not high enough level to get 7th level spells, but a 14 wisdom should block her from 6th uh, level spells. So the game doesn't appear to do that. Whereas Aerie... Um, I mean, I could always increase Vaconia's wisdom, but there's also always a chance that she decides to just leave us. And then I have to go do some stuff to get her back. Uh, Airy, I think, is the better choice here. But first... Do one more. And that will be the red dial. And the green dial. And the short lever. You suddenly feel sure of yourself and radiate a powerful confidence. A confidence others can see in you. Elmentred has gained one point of charisma. Okay, that didn't actually uh, do anything because of an item that I have. Alright. Not that one. Which one is it? Wait a second. I don't chop wood, okay? I'm not an axe. All right, I have something setting me to 18 charisma. Yeah, that just sets you to 18 charisma. Okay. Mm on the other hand, uh, that would give me another another ring that I could wear. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get to 20 charisma, but mm, whatever, right? Let's see what the actual effects of charisma in this game are. Yeah, let's see. So I don't get a buy-in adjustment until I hit 20, and that doesn't look like, uh... Doesn't look like I can actually get to that right now. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, whatever, right? I'll take it. Alright, what was that again? Like I said, I can just give that ring to someone else. Or sell it or something like that. I, I haven't used it much other than getting that 18 charisma. Uh, red dial. And... Uh, green dial. 
And a short lever. Yep. Set myself up to 18. Someone has a ring slot, I think. No. You cast more spells anyway. Charm and air elemental. Improved invisibility once per day. Haven't really used that much. Detect traps 25%. Invisibility once per day. That is 40% fire resistance. Armor class plus one and... Charm Earth Elemental. I think I'd rather you have the armor class anyway. Ring of Regeneration would be nice, especially if I got, got another one. I don't actually have another ring. Alright, well... I'll take the Ring of the Ram. You can take the Charisma one. Not a big deal. There we go. That's fine. Yes. I don't think that uh, Charisma on anyone else does a whole lot. Alright, and then uh, let's go ahead and quickly save and have Aerie use this. Okay, so circular button. Some blue dial. And long lever. Ari has gained one point of intelligence. Next up. Circular button. Square button. And a triangular button. Ari has gained one point of wisdom. Okay, now the third level spell. Go with another Holy Smite. That's fine. Alright. Uh, there are a bunch of random stuff that you can get. Uh, imprisonment, but... Which can be uh, blocked by spell deflection, spell turning, or a globe of invulnerability. Petrification, that allows no uh, saving throw. 50 points of fire damage, which I saw. Uh, 75 points of electrical damage. Intelligence Drain, lose one point permanently. Uh, Dexterity Drain, lose one point permanently. Poison Damage, uh, one damage per second for 60 seconds. And uh, Level Drain, character loses 15 levels, can be negated by immunity to Level Drain. And then there's two good ones. Character gains 100,000 experience points, and main character receives one potion of superior healing. Uh, I don't know if those are repeatable. I mean, I assume that all the bad ones are repeatable. I don't know if those two good ones are. I'm kind of tempted to try that, just to see if I can get some more XP, maybe some more potions. Um, I'll try it off camera, see if I get, you know, if it, if I go through like 10 tries and I don't get anything good, uh, then whatever, you know, we'll, we'll move on. It's not that big of a deal, but it could be fun. Anyway, that's going to call that's going to wrap up this episode and we come back next time moving on to the next level. See you then everyone.